Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to try uh, an idea that I had when I saw this envelope on the dining room table. It had a bill for my husband. So I actually texted him at work today and asked him if I can have the envelope. And obviously he said yes because he will just throw it out and I want to recycle it. And I also found this one other one from junk mail so but before i'm gonna show you what uh, ideas i had for those i want to show you um the other tags that i've been making so i've already showed you these guys quite a while ago and today i made these and i love those parts so i used uh the collage paper from tim holtz and i have this old uh, Halloween book. Let's see how old it is. From 1887. And um, <clears throat> I just love the pages where the poem starred, where it just says the falcon, and then it has two columns of um, the poem. This one said Queen Mary, and this one says the, uh, said the princess. So I used those pages and then I put uh, the collage paper on top and then each of those uh, tags has a little label on the bottom. And on the back they just have coffee dyed lined paper and I just put some uh, Tim Holtz stamps on them and then I sewn around the edge with the sewing machine. So these are my favorites, I love those. And then... I had this uh, corner triangle um, cut off um, an old collage that I made a long time ago. And I thought, hey, this could be a top corner tug on a page. So I just uh, put a label and this, I cut this, fussy cut this hand out of a card and then put some lace on it, stitched around it. And now I can uh, glue this into a onto a page and tuck something in there. Um, these two were tags that I've made also quite a while ago, and I just um, embellished them. I put some more collage paper, or not collage paper, uh, newspaper, and a little bit of my waxed paperback paper, some lace, and then I found this feather pen. And then here I just put some um, wax paper for my paperback some lace and then this lady and then I put this um, old lace ribbon on the top as a tab okay and then these guys were just leftovers uh, leftover tags I made from when I did these these ones so I did have another paper newspaper that had the it was the same one that I used for the other tags that I when I had my blonde moment and I actually glued the, pa uh, the tags onto the paper side that I wanted to use. So I found another one because I had two of the same copy and that has the American flag on it. And I figured I'll put this lady on there with her American flag. And then two little ones with um, people and the dog. And two bigger ones. I may or may not put holes and hole enforcers on there, so I don't know yet. And I'm collecting all these um, for my Tim Holtz journals that I'm going to make. Because when I did my snowman journals, I ran out of um, ephemera fairly quickly. So this time I want to be prepared. Alright, so now... What I want to do with my envelopes, I love these ones that have this big envelope, uh, this big window on one side. And what I thought, I would just fold it like this, and then this could go over a page. So let me get a page. Hold on. Um, what did I do with that? Okay, let's just take one of those papers. Let's just say this is my um, a page in my junk journal. So what you can do is you just 
put over here and you could clip it with a paper clip or um, you can also actually glue it on there but I don't know if I actually want to glue it on there because I want to be able to see the other other side so um, and then it's open on this side so this is a pocket with a window let's see if I have a a journaling card that can fit in there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oops. A little too short. Oh, there's bigger ones. Does this one fit? This could fit. Oh, this one is nice. Probably too big. Okay, so let's see this one. Probably needs to be a little smaller, but you would just put this, slide this in on the side. So it can be in there. And I'm going to collage or um, embellish or make the border pretty. And then when you flip it up, you could journal on here. So maybe, maybe I'm going to glue it on the page. Not sure yet. And on the other side, um, there's another little uh, pocket. So it could be like a side pocket for a tag. So I could stick a tag in there with with a tab or something. So maybe I'll just uh, put like a nice image here and then just have the whole thing be glued down onto the page. So this can be a good flip up. Yeah. So that's what I want to do today. And my husband gets one of these every month. And because he pays his bill online and um, he didn't switch to paperless. So they always lay around until he finally sh takes a whole pile and shreds it. And today I was looking if uh, to find any others. And nope, because he uh, got rid of all of them, all his junk mail. So... I gotta uh, wait for the next next um, time he receives one of those and then um, take the envelope before he throws it away. Same with this one, um, but I figured rather than putting it over the page, because this window is like wider than, or taller than wide this way, I would put it on the side of a page. So pretty much same concept like this, but this way. And then you have the uh, pocket on the top. I just have to find something that I can put in there so you can see through. And then you flip it open and you can journal over here. And then when you open this way, maybe I'll just glue a little bit and then this could be a, a tuck or something. You can put a paper in here or have another pocket up here. Yeah, so maybe we'll do that. And just glue this one down. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I am going to decorate these two. So we need, let's see, we need writing paper on this one and writing paper on this one. So here it should be sideways so we can turn like this. And this one should be this way. And then this side is going to be glued down same as this one so i'm just gonna put an x on this so i don't accidentally uh put pretty post uh pretty images on this and then we're going to have a journaling spot here and then put nice papers on this same with here journaling and then nice papers on this okay i have a bunch of tim holtz actually let me get rid of this book here and this can go away. Okay. Probably use some of this. I was gonna use um oh I have a ton of paper, but I just found my eight by eight and I hardly ever use eight by eight paper, so we can use oh that might actually fit. Huh. They're a little bit like uh, the 6x6 six six papers that I hardly ever use. 
So let's see if I can find, there's some whole bunch of scraps I can use up. And I think the nice thing about like Tim Holtz, the tags and stuff that I'm making, um, if I should I not use like if I don't use them in in my Tim Holtz journals that I'm making, um, I can always use them in other journals because they're just they just look vintagey. Okay, let's just trim this a little bit off. Once again, it's freezing cold in my room down here. I have very cold fingers. I turned the heat on like an hour ago or more than an hour ago and it's still cold. So, I have to craft pretty fast in order to get warm. Okay, so I think for this one, I can glue some of those on here. This one works here. I need a thinner one. This could work here. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. So I need my trimmer. And just trim those on those lines. So how are you guys? I hope you're having a good week. Um, today was my last work day for this week and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Two days of relaxing, hopefully, and crafting. And I also have to go to the store on Friday. Usually I go on Saturdays, but I have um, my friend come over. I haven't seen her in forever. And her daughter is exactly one week younger than mine. We She was due three days before me, but um, then my daughter came early and her daughter came a little late so they're exactly one week apart and we um, visited each other in the hospital we actually met at a birthing class and we have so many had so many things in common so we just stayed in touch and it's really nice to actually have a friend that has a kid and the same age and also a girl so when we both were new moms <laughs> and had sleepless nights, we would text each other that night. Oh my gosh, I can't get my kid to stop crying and whatnot. So it's it's very nice to have a, a friend. Um, okay, so yeah, and our daughters haven't seen each other in forever. So uh, we're gonna have a little play date and I'm really curious on how, to, uh, how they're gonna interact with each other because since the whole COVID thing happened, the parents aren't allowed in daycare in the daycare building anymore. So I can never see how my daughter interacts with other kids because we don't really know anyone else that has a, has young kids in her age. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this one for up here and I think also down here. So let's see. Oh, it's gonna be too short. Do I have one that's like the same height? Yes, okay, I'm just gonna stick Stick it like this, okay. Oh, yeah, ha! Huh. So my husband Asked me if I had a good glue to glue some foam stuff. So I uh, Gave him my Fabri-Tac glue bottle and said try this. It works really great for me. I should probably put paper under it and my new bottle has this really weird little cap small cap so i gave it to him and i i was actually joking and i said don't lose the cap he's like okay well guess what two seconds later he said oh no i lost the cap and i thought he was kidding but he wasn't he opened it next to the sink and this thing popped off the bottle and fell right down into our garbage disposal and it's gone <laughs> And he was like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, whatever. I thought it was hilarious. I don't, like, I didn't really, I mean, yeah. I'm going to have to find a different cap, but still, I thought it was so funny. So, um, what I'm going to do here, because if I stick this on, on here and then have paper on the back, I'm still going to have the white edge up here, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do first is... 
old fine paper blue paper up here and then fold it over so we cover the little uh, the white edge and then I'm gonna put the measuring tape paper on top let's do that first which was really in good stain so I'm just gonna doesn't matter which one yeah so my fabric tag is without cap now he used some electrical tape and just glued the bottle shut at the top. He's like, just cut it off. I'm like, well, I need to you I use it like a bazillion times every time I craft. So I gotta find a different a different cap because the tape's not gonna work. It's not gonna do it for me. Uh, but I thought it was funny. I just closed my mouth saying, hey, don't lose the cap, and whoops, it's already gone. <laughs> oh gosh. He's so lucky that I love him so much. <laughs> Uh, no, it's really, really hard to to be mad at my husband. I don't think I've ever mad at him. All right, so I should have cut this. Uh, I didn't think. Let's trim this off. Okay, so now I have to cut, the, I should not do it, cut it this way. Yeah, this is how it's not done. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna not worry about this. And then fold it like this. So now when I stick this up here, you won't be able to see um, the white edge of the envelope. Okay, let's put some more glue on this. And stick this down. I think junk journaling is such a great hobby because there's so many things you can use. A bazillion different materials. There's like no nothing is off limit and you can um, recycle and repurpose so many things so and I said it before it's the perfect hobby for me because I have so many different um, materials and supplies because I I have tried many different um, hobbies or things like crafts like I love all kinds of paper crafts I love sewing and quilting I love mixed media. I like, I made ATCs and I have all kinds of papers and stamps and stickers and whatnot. So what better hobby than junk journaling? You can just use everything. Isn't this fun? I love it. Okay, do I want to stick this one in here? No, it's not wide enough. Could be wide enough for this one though. And I'll just um, do it like this. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then the bottom one, I think I was going to use this one, right? I was going to use this one. Yeah, perfect. So. And every day, all day long, I look forward to going to my craft room, crafting and turning on the camera and talk to you guys. And, um... I left a comment on Gail's, um, Gail Gassinelli's channel or video yesterday saying that I like she has the, the uh, Tuesday, you stay. Um, on Tuesday, she uses up her stuff um, in her stash. And it always like motivates me and gets me all excited to um, go into my craft room in the evening and use up my stash. Um, so yeah, and I told her that sometimes I have the video on like while I'm working, sometimes I just have to do like stuff where I don't really have to 
like focus real hard um like repetitive stuff so i have like her video on in the background so i can listen to what she does or what she's talking about and um i get so excited to go into the craft room in the evening it's like the the goal not the goal but it's like the the reward for my day <laughs> <clears throat> okay so how much time do you guys spend crafting every day do you craft every day if so um how much time do you spend on like in your craft room or like at your craft table or wherever you craft i'm curious so for me for the longest time i didn't have any time to craft when i was a new mom uh, and then, ever since our daughter started sleeping in her own room, I finally got, I started to have a little bit of me time in the evening. That was one thing that was very hard for me, uh, not having any time to do my own thing. Nothing. I just was working and taking care of my daughter every day and then every night. I mean, my husband was there too, but... She, like when they're really young they need their mama so yeah that was a very very hard thing for me to accept i mean i love my daughter more than anything it's just it was very hard to, uh, or difficult to adjust for me okay let's find us another one um but yeah so now that she goes to bed and goes like goes to sleep most of the time she goes to sleep right away um Oh, I want it this way. Uh, she, uh, I have free time. So in the evening I get to craft like for two hours or so. And that is so, like it helps me so much. It's my therapy. <laughs> How am I going to do this? I need to figure out if I'm going to trim this. So it fits right in here. It's funny because it's a measuring tape. It can just measure it. Okay. What am I dropping? Huh. Oh. A spool of thread. Oop, a little more. Oh, too much. <laughs> okay, we have more. <sighs> Trim it right through the S of Wisconsin. Please, I should have glued that on before I glued this one on. Oh, this worked. Yay. Perfect. Okay. All right. Ta -da -da -da. It's like a picture frame. And then I am going to put, oh yeah, I need paper here too. How about, I have an idea to make this a little sturdier. Okay, let me put all these things away. Just get me caught up in all my other stuff. Okay, how about we're going to put a paper, one of those papers here, and then we just tear out um, some writing paper and put that on there. As, like, a, so that you can see the paper as a frame. Oh, so close. Why are they not wide enough? <laughs> Mm 
Do I like this or do you like this? I think I like this. It's not so uh, distracting when I put writing paper on it. Okay, let's do the gluing. One of these days I will find a glue book. Actually, we got a phone book in the mail the other day. Uh, one of those smaller ones. I was surprised I haven't seen a phone book in forever. Um, and I we don't use phone books, so I thought maybe I can use the phone book as a glue book. Um, I ripped out a few pieces uh, of a few pages um, to help get the fires um, going because uh, the coals weren't hot or big enough. Um, whoops! <laughs> my my uh, fingerprints are brown from the distress ink. Um, yeah, so I used. I used some of those phone book pages to restart, rekindle our fire in the wood stove. <laughs> Just gotta be creative, huh? Okay, so, ugh, and it's even not even straight. Choo -choo -choo. All sticky and stuff. Tomorrow I have to go to the post office and mail one of my journals because it's sold today. Yay! I'm always so excited when I get an email saying, congratulations, you made a sale. And I catch myself every time I list something, I'm like, oh my goodness, what if someone, what if nobody wants it? But my husband always tells me the right person will come along and buy your stuff, so... The right person came along, and thank you. Thanks for buying my my uh, snowman junk journal. I have one left as of right now. Depending on when this video goes up, maybe they're both gone. That would be awesome. <laughs> okay. Did I go? No. So we still have the pocket. Uh, and then you open this. This is glued down. And then I'm going to get a different paper. And tear this with my lovely tearing ruler. My cat's making weird noises outside my door. There's like this long old roll of like rug, long rug or carpet. Piece, I think it's a piece of carpet um, on the concrete floor, and it's already it was already there when we moved in. Um, but yeah, my cat's trying to rip that up on, in front of my door so she can come in, but she doesn't realize it doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, silly cat. Okay, how wide does it have to be? Okay, let's see here. Oh, don't glue to the thing, please. Okay, so that's what I meant. So it like, looks like a frame. Looks like a wallpaper, but I'm gonna distress those edges. Yeah, because then it stands out a little more. I have a whole long list on my phone. I put them in my um, my craft ideas in my reminders. So then it reminds me, hey, you had this idea. And then like tomorrow or whenever it reminds me, I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta try this. So whenever I'm somewhere and like an idea hits me, or when I, especially when I'm in bed in the evening, because my brain has time to think creatively, creatively, 
before I go to sleep, um, I get my phone and write down my ideas. <laughs> they usually come to me when I shower, when I do dishes, or when I s try to sleep. It's because your brain has time to think about these things. Okay, I like this. Let's glue that on there. No, you're not, you're not supposed to stick on that. <laughs> and then we have the first one done. How much? Oh my goodness, it took me 30 minutes. Holy smokes. <laughs> I might do the other one off camera and just show you guys what I came up with in the end. Such a long video. Oh, oh. Although, you, some of you said you like the longer videos and some said... Uh, if it's if you're bored and you can just um, fast forward, so maybe I'll just film the whole thing. Oh, oh, I hope I didn't put my hand my hair under the camera. Or my nose. <laughs> okay, let's get the bone folder. And I just used a little bone folder for my Martha Stewart um, scoreboard. I don't have any fancy bone folders. Whatever's, whatever works, right? Okay, neat. So you put this over a page. Let's say this is my journal page. And then you just flip it up. You can journal right here. I might put a little embellishment here. And then on the next page, you can journal right here. And you still have a pocket in here. Oh, I should probably fix those those back together here those flaps come on <laughs> really here we go little glue ball Okay, that should do. All right. Do I want to put something, glue something in there? I don't think so. I think this looks pretty nice. I don't care about the um, pattern in there. Plus, usually you would put a journaling card in there. So, unless you, you take it out to write on it. It should be fine. Okay, now... Wait, that doesn't look on that. Let's see if we can distress, distress this a little bit and maybe find an embellishment. So when the glue tries to come out of the bottle this one on this one or the fabric tag, I just unscrew the top a little bit because it's just the air that's pushing out the glue because the air got under the glue and is trying to get out. So if you unscrew it, the air can get out. Okay. I'm planning on making my um, sewing theme journal first, but somehow, I, for some reason, I've worked on my... Oh, I forgot. Bummer, I was going to put oops I was gonna punch little thing in here so you can tell it's a pocket okay let's see if that actually works can I still fit it in here yeah okay I don't know if you can see okay so I might have to put something here because it bugs me that it's white um what was I gonna say what the heck was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was gonna do my, my sewing journal first. Um, but for some reason I'm working, just working on Tim Holtz stuff right now. So, do I want to do this here as well? I think I do. 
Just a little one. I landed right on my lap. Okay. So. <sighs> what do I put there? Should just glue that. Oh, that wasn't even that piece. Where did it land? It's gonna say I should just glue this down here. <laughs> that should work, right? That's what I'm gonna do. Ha! Now I just gotta figure out what happened to the other piece. It just flew right at me and I thought that was this one. Alrighty. Don't worry if my hair gets in the way. I think that looks nice, doesn't it? Okay. You left over piece, what happened to you? Oh, it's on my lap. <clears throat> Stuck to my jeans. And we're going to stick this in here too. Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> Okay. I like it. Well, you can't really tell that there's this thing, but <laughs> I mean, maybe you can. Maybe if I just dress it a little more. Probably should have glued something else there. No, I think it's fine. Oh, it's on this side. When you open it, and on the other side. Yeah, you can definitely tell on this side. So, that's good. All right. Let's see if we have a little embellishment from my Tim Holtz stuff. Put this in here. Come on. <sighs> yeah. When am I gonna use those mushrooms? I gotta work on my mushroom journal. I love tag. I mean, labels. Hmm. No. Oh. Oh, you know what? I could probably put some old stamps on there because one of my journals is going to be like mail related. No. <laughs> By airmail. But this whole thing is not really mail. No. Oh, what are you? Airmail. Now everything I look at is airmail. Handle with care. Do I have any of those labels here? I cut out a few. Uh, I'll just use all of those. Okay. Let's see. Can you put this? Not a blue one. That's not bad. Or maybe I do blue. Do I do blue? Ugh. Do a blue one. No, I don't think the blue looks good. I think I want this one. Let's just do that. This morning we had a cardinal at the bird feeder, one of those long um, cage thingies that has food for the uh, woodpecker in it. And I haven't seen a, uh, a cardinal in a very long time in our yard, but we scared it scared away when we left the house to go to daycare because my dog likes to chase the birds. Well, he didn't see it, but he ran down to the bird feeders to sniff because we also have squirrels at the bird feeders and he likes to chase squirrels. Okay, so that's not too bad. Hmm. Something's still missing. Because 
I'll just put this one on there. Oh, but no, wish I had a small. I didn't. I didn't um, fussy cut the small ones out yet. So I need a green one. Hmm. Let's just go with the blue one and just leave it at that. I'm gonna sit here for two hours trying to figure out what label I want to put on there. Yeah, so I was excited to see a, um, a cardinal. I always only have one male and one female at my feeders, but they, like, this one was the first one this year, or this, this winter season. Okay, so we got this one, and then over here, what do I want to put on this side? Something different. Uh, oh, maybe we can put a little person on there. One of those small um, to most people. Because usually I only... What do I do with them? Um, I just realized I never... I work, started working on this, but I never finished it. Huh. found them yeah um I have so many little ones that I never never use for anything so why not use them on here little dog little girls huh. oh he's a cute cutie just stick to him on here what else do I have? Do I have someone facing this way? Mm. Oh, cat. Okay, I like him. Stick him on here. I think distressing can be an addiction. Because <laughs> I have to distress everything. Crafter problems. Oh, I, uh, a quote or a saying popped up in my Facebook memories this morning. It said... Um, cleaning up only means you put things in less obvious places. And it, it reminded me of my craft room <laughs> because and we also in Germany we also have the saying um, uh, uh, cleaning up is only for people that are too lazy to find uh, to look for stuff or something like that. So yeah, he's cute. Okay. I like it. What happened to my stamp that I had laying around here? Did I put it away? I think I did. Okay, never mind. Okay, number one's done. And then we're also going to have to find or make a journaling card for that. But let's do this one. Let's take all these guys. Put them back up on the shelf. All right, let's see. What other paper do we have? Let's take use some of the male one. Oh, I gotta find my male paper pad. As an air male, not the male, the gender. <laughs> okay. Ooh, these are pretty. <laughs> oh, tickets. Oh, we can use some of the smaller ones here that I never use like six by six ones so let's see these are pretty I think I'm gonna use these ones because then I can use my airmail tags 
<laughs> I love this. So maybe I'll use this on these three sides and here I'll use... <gasps> yes, this is perfect. Oh, I love when something works out. Okay, let's measure how much we need. Oh. One and a little more than one and a quarter. One and a quarter. First, let's cut this. Ooh. Forty-five minutes. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna work on this and then I'm just gonna um, Wait, it's one one and a quarter. I'm just gonna come back Actually, hold on. I'm gonna come back and uh, show you when I'm done because This is gonna be such a long video I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'm back and I have finished the other um, envelope pocket as well so just to um, show you again, this one was the first one where I used the measuring tape paper and it has the side side pocket. I haven't made any of any um, stuck in there. I haven't made any journaling cards yet and my cat is trying really hard to get in here. Um, but I am going to make some journaling cards next time. So you can see this is one pocket. And when you flip it up, this will be glued onto the page. You can journal right here. And then when you flip the page over, you can journal right here. And now there's like a sticky piece that's stuck to everything. Um, and then this one, I almost forgot that I was going to do it sideways. So here's... The top pocket for this and then when you open it you can journal right here and I put a little um, airmail sticker here and then when you uh, flip over the page you have another pocket up here and I accidentally put the lines this way because I thought it was gonna go over the page but you can still journal you can journal this way you can still write on this and yeah it's gonna be glued to the page here and next time i am going to make some journaling cards because so far i've only made a ton of tags but no journaling cards so i'll save that for next time thanks so much for watching guys i hope you're all well and staying warm wherever you are and i'll talk to you soon bye